know, might take let, it as let, you talk about, but I'm let, just let, saying from that perspective. Let, let me that say this. He didn't get those off. All, all you say that is to me when I say that it's a formula. No, yeah, you don't know. There's a formula. Oh, Number I know. One. Yeah, I there's know, a formula. I know. These folks. I know. So okay. you, I know, and I, and I know you're on the inside, but there are a couple of variables. <laughs> he that, you know. There's he a couple. Said he of, told folks he would do the job for Coach Prime and half the price. Now everybody thought he was joking, and we'll, you know, maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. I'll leave that up to him. But I know them offers didn't come. Like what you talking about? That's I, all I, I'm saying. The offers I, didn't come. You're, you're absolutely <laughs> right. And the other thing we say in corporal. Relationship deals success, but the other thing is, oh yeah, that's, that's what I said, and that's what you said. No, that's what you said. But but the other thing is, how, how how marketable? If you compare marketable Trey Oliver to Willie Simmons, it's a good point. knowing all what, yeah, I mean, what do you get? That's There's a good a point. So you 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 want me to believe that because Willie Simmons got the offer. From Duke because he was more marketable than Trey Oliver. That's right well, there plus, in North Carolina. Plus the record, yeah. plus it's a, plus, it's, it's, plus, plus, plus the relationship. Yeah, plus the relationship. Plus the record. Right. Plus the relationship. The, 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 the relationships are the big thing. Yeah, yeah. The relationships. That's, that's yeah. all. I, I'm not saying that that don't exist. Everything else you put on there, but the relationships are significant. That's all I'm saying. Let's take our next break. This was good. We will get back on the other side and see if I can get y'all into your mix a little more on the next subject in regards to taking a deeper dive see where you go with that we'll stay right back we'll come back on the other side itchy squirmy scratchy family not getting clean get charmin ultra strong go get them it just cleans better with a diamond weave texture your family can use less while still getting clean Goodbye, itchy squirm. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? At Hampton Law, our primary goal is to provide non-traditional yet effective solutions and redefine the approach to client legal concerns. As your trusted legal advisor, we believe in sophisticated, personalized services that eliminate the confusion and complexity sometimes associated with legal matters. Our high standard for client care and concern, coupled with our extensive legal knowledge and skills, make Hampton Law a resource focused on the protection of the client's interest and overall goals. We value our clients and truly enjoy working with them. Visit thamptonlaw.com to conveniently schedule an appointment online. Tamika Hampton Esquire, 1631 Rock Springs Road, Suite 336, Apopka, Florida, 407-494-1471. THAMPTONLAW.COM Nope. Nope. You want him? Ooh, I like him. <laughs> Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High-quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. When it comes to perfect Press the analytic data with your hip hop. If you know them like I know them, they're going to tell you if your team, if they want to love that. And who the ball, who the ball. So listen to Professor Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And pay attention because he's going to teach a lesson. Yes. This is Dr. Wills inside the HBC Sports Lab with Mike Washington, Charles Bishop, giving your thoughts on the news of the week. First of the year, boy, it got a little interesting and folks sharing their thoughts. They want you to know uh, as the comments got big, but we're going to switch. We're going to go over to the next one. Uh, when you got a new coach coming in, Miss Nikki Joseph, he's cut his teeth in the swag, all porn, uh, but then he then at LSU, Nebraska, uh, but he comes in and names a offensive defensive coordinator that he says has swag experience. 
we've always had the dialogue in regards to, you know, getting outside of the SWAC to hire coaches and things of that nature. Um, and some people agree with it. Some people don't, obviously, for multiple reasons. But in terms of these hires, first, Charles, what are your thoughts in terms of these hires, just generally speaking? Um, at least with the Eric Dooley hire, my first thought was, yeah, he, he hired somebody that got a big chip on his shoulder. Uh, who can't wait to.
I'm Brian Fulford. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. What up, y'all? It's Gary Gray. Check it out. I need you to do something for me. Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for Urban Nerd Con. It's going to be lit. Okay. Our heroes, our villains, everyone's con. See y'all there. Visit theurbannerdcon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. See you.
2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started.
This is the Dean of the College of HBCU Sports, Kenyatta Cavill of Dr. Cavill's Inside the HBCU Sports Lab with Mike Washington and Charles Bishop. Come mix it up in the lab where the course lecture is in session every Tuesday from 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook Live, YouTube, Spreaker, or the BCSN app. With me, the Dean, the College of HBCU Sports, on Dr. Cavill's Inside the HBCU Sports Lab with Mike Washington and Charles Bishop. Course lecture dismissed.
So I, I like it from that standpoint point to 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 hire somebody who who has a chip on their shoulder that, that's more than willing to prove it. And Jason Robbins to, to to a lesser extent, same thing. Uh, had the interim job down there at Southern. So now we got this Grambling Jaguar sort of you know dynamic up there uh, up there in uh, Grambling. So it's it's really interesting. But I, I like the additions to the staff and and you know. Well, this is about as long as I've seen Grambling down. I, I, I just, I, I don't, you don't traditionally see a Grambling football program uh, that's, you know, not in the thick of things in the swag. So uh, this is a big prove-it year, I think, for Grambling football. And that puts more pressure, I think, on Mickey Joseph in year one. That's a great point when you said you don't think of Grambling being traditionally down for this long period of time. I will say this. I'm not sure that uh, Rollins' chip is not as big as Dooley's chip. Good point. <laughs> to your yeah. point, they yeah. might have the same boulders on each right. other's shoulders, looking to knock each one of them off uh, when it comes around the swag. So that's fascinating when you bring that point up. And you talk about uh, Southern Grambling matchups uh, as big as they oh. get. Oh my but they God. become that more interesting. Yeah. I guess Grambling says, okay. You gonna do what we did with your assistant coach and make him the head coach, and then you hire him full time. Well, watch what we do. We're gonna take both from your former coaches, and we're gonna make them offensive and defensive coordinators, respectively, uh, coming into the year. That is just fascinating in terms of storyline. But let me go to Mike and get his thoughts in terms of these hires, Coach Dooley and Coach Rollins at Grambling State University under the new head coach, Mickey Jones. Mike? Yeah, sorry. So, question. Look out for the State Farm Classic. Because it's, it's a couple of coaches with some demons exercise. Y'all mentioned the Bayou Classic, State Farm Classic. Newly done lost to Prairie View. That was the one that put the nail in the coffin. Uh, I, don't, I don't know which one. Yeah, has to I didn't think about the State Fair Classic. That, I, I don't know which one has it. And Grandma ain't doing too well in the State Fair Classic as well. So which one has the bigger demons to exercise? And uh, to think about that, when you talk about that, Dooley was at Prairie View that put the nail in uh, in the coffin for Rollins. Exactly. Uh, they lost, and then Bubba was the one that did it to Dooley. So, so yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what the the, the meeting rooms look like with the, when they sit next to each other, <laughs> and then then they come to stay for a classic. So that's that's the first thing that caught to my mind with that. So we'll see. This is going to be interesting. Can the can the also can the Boons match the recruiting? They done bought an OC and a DC in that were former head coaches. Now can they get the talent in to match the supposed level of coaching? And to really bring Grambling back, because to see these point, see, Grambling's been off the scene for a minute. Can they bring the talent in 
as well as matching the coaching level to really bring Grambling back to the forefront. Good stuff there. So let me follow up and stay with you, Mike, and then I'll come with you, Charles, this same question. What are your thoughts in terms of specifically uh, Coach Mickey Joseph uh, liking the idea of getting coordinators that are familiar with the SWAC or familiar with the conference? Um, you see this at various conferences at various levels that a lot of times, you know, a program that has success or a coach that's familiar with the way that the conference plays football, um, recruits and different things of that nature, folks will ultimately get coaches that are familiar with that. What are your thoughts, Mike, in regards to that unique uh, component of one of the reasons why these hires seem to be made? I think it's unique, and I actually think it's a good move for 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 Joseph's sake because it, it, in, one, in one aspect you could say it's about coaching, but as, as you said it, it's also about recruiting. They know the swag. They know the reasons of the swag. To me, it's more so about recruiting. Can I bring that talent to Grambling? Uh, when you bring the coach, you bring in the talent that comes with that coach. So I think it's a genius move, and that's why I said in my previous statement, with this move, does this also bring the talent with that move? So I think it's a great move. Good stuff. Charles, I think a lot of people have talked about Dooley in terms of the recruiting trail, but I think in a lot of ways, uh, if you would, Rollins probably goes unsaid. Uh, you know, he recruited some many of those defensive players over the last two years, the year before he got there under, obviously, Coach Odoms, which had some fierce defenses. Some of those players stayed over during his tenure and even in terms of the first year of Dooley. That was a very formidable defense. A lot of people didn't have questions about Southern's defense, maybe offensively, uh, yeah. but I think Rollins may be just as depth in terms of his recruiting, specifically on that side of the ball, much as people as heralded Dooley's recruiting. What do you talk about their ability to recruit? Because I saw you shake your head in an affirmation in terms of Mike talking about how much of this also is about recruiting, if not more. Yeah, and I think the big thing is uh, you brought two people onto your staff. Can you get back into the New Orleans area? And we know that New Orleans area is 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 deep, deep with 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 talent. And uh, when I, when you talk about major urban uh, areas in terms of recruiting, you talk about Houston, New Orleans, Atlanta. Now, now in Dallas. The, in Dallas, now with the footprint being over in Florida, you know you you got you got Florida in play. But but you know I, I think there's been a disconnect. Uh, with mm -hmm. Grambling, especially getting into that 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 uh, talent rich area in the New Orleans area, we right. know that 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 is a uh, that is a uh, Dooley's trademark being able to get down there and, and mine that, that talent down there, especially looking for quarterbacks. So probably a question I would have asked them in terms of you know uh, they're not having success uh, at Southern. How can we turn this around at Grambling? What is it that you did not do that now you know uh, that you can bring up here to Grambling? So I'm sure that that question was probably somewhere on the table. So to be able to answer that uh, probably made that uh, situation even more uh, unique in terms of bringing in two coaches who knew this conference. I think probably every situation is, is unique, but I think this fits Grambling's profile to a team. Good stuff. Selling points made by both of you. We're going to turn the page, get into the last segment, if you would. Talk a little bit more about coaches in waiting or next coach up or vacancies in coaching in terms of the direction for Texas Southern University, FAMU for that matter now, and even Morehouse College, which is still open, uh, which are fascinating in regards to the clock. We're literally, if you look at uh, one day in terms of Wednesday, we're literally uh, one day away in a month from signing day, which is the first Wednesday in February. With that being said, take our next break. We'll come back on the other side and get back into some dialogue with these two gentlemen weighing in on the closing news of the year. Uh, let's see what they think as we come back, right back after this last break. Professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. 
If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. The Cuvée Group is a Florida-based marketing and training consulting firm. We help businesses communicate to their target audience and engage them in conversation. We also help to expand their audiences, which will ultimately result in growth for those organizations. In addition to being a certified constant contact specialist, my colleagues and I are also certified in John Maxwell Leadership Principles. We use these proven principles to conduct workshops, training, and private coaching sessions for individuals and companies looking to take things to the next level. Contact us to schedule a free consultation. Issues today, don't delay, call Cuvay. As technology continues to bring changes to the world of education, it's time we also reimagine teacher professional development. Gone are the days of one-size-fits-all learning that can only be accessed at a specific time and place. The Stride PD Center is an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that allow educators to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. The best professional development plans are those that include a level of flexibility and choice for educators. Whether you're a teacher, school, or district, Visit us today to take charge of your learning. We're back. It's time for the 2024 Urban Nerd Con. Join us in Atlanta, Georgia, April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel. Special guests include Underworld creator Kevin Grievous, Gary Gray from Fairly Odd Parents, from Nickelodeon, Giovanni Samuels, the science machine Michael Green, the Sci Fi Sisters. And from Spaceballs and Star Trek Voyager, Tim Russ. Hi, I'm Tim Russ. Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for the Urban Nerd Con. Our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone con. I'll see you there. Live long and prosper. Visit TheUrbanNerdCon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. See you there. Compress the analytic data with your hip-hop. If you know them like I know them, they gon' tell you if your team, if they want a lot, yeah. And who the ball, who the ball. So listen to Professor Yes Sir, yes, and pay attention, because he gon' teach a lesson. Yes. This is Dr. Bills inside HBC Sports Lab with Mike Washington and Charles Bishop. Let's get into this next discussion. I'm going to put some of these together because in a lot of ways, in terms of timing, uh, there may be different reasons why they are here, but in terms of the timing, they're all on the same page. As I just ended the last segment, I told you that signing day uh, in February is essentially a month away, month and a day away, right? Tomorrow, you're literally a month away. Um, and so whether it is a coach leaving on their own accord because the opportunity affords them to do that at FAMU or whether they have Texas Southern where there is the board uh, and the administration making a decision on what direction they want to go or even at Morehouse where we haven't heard in terms of who their next coach is. Um, in a lot of ways, the same framework comes up in terms of or regardless of why you're here. What does this mean in terms of moving forward? How do you uh, look at this? Because some people would say, hey, this coaching search is extremely important and you need to get the right person. So if it takes more time to do that, let's do that. Other folks said, hey, you still need to understand the map that you are operating in in terms of the recruiting circle and what does it mean for your program and uh, how far it can put you behind if you do not get a coach in a timely manner uh, in terms of that. So, Charles, where do you land on that framework? I think you lost a sizzle with regards to recruiting if you have not 
uh, dip your uh, toes in the water with the early signing period. I mean, the, the reality of it with the transfer portal, uh, a lot of your better players, they're committed somewhere within that, that early signing period. So in the process of you doing everything to get it right, you, you put your coach behind, and, and that's the reality of it. That's an intriguing point, and I think a good point in a lot of ways because the landscape has changed. Uh, oddly enough, you may have been able to get away with this a little more, you know, five years ago even. Uh, but with the transfer portal, which is new to the system, the NIL, uh, even though you might not see that as very heavily at the FCS level, it does exist, uh, and, and it works in its own manner. Obviously, the normal period with JUCOs uh, early with people committing in terms of what that looks like. And then getting into February, we have high school students that are graduating early to make the decision to get involved in spring practice or what that looks like. So as Charles alluded to, Mike, what are your thoughts in terms of what does that look like when you're either uh, waiting this long to look for a coach or uh, opening comes begging to you and you still have to look for a coach, i.e. Texas Southern, FAMU, and Morehouse College? Yeah, I completely agree 100%. Um, you can have the best management in place. Tiffany, Dr. Tiffany Don Sykes has done a tremendous job. The FAMU, as TB alluded to, FAMU family, they've done a ter terrific job of stepping in place. All that considered, you throw in the dynamics of transfer portal. You throw in the dynamics of getting JUCO commits early. There's a certain miss that you've lost. A certain, you know, Charles calls it a sizzle. I call it the top five, ten percent that you may have lost those recruits just because. Come on, baby. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. 
Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us.
From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. You see, Head & Shoulders has scalp shield technology protects against flakes even between washes. It's never not working. Kind of like us. Number 15? Never not working! I don't like this one. Me neither. Let's get out of here. Head & Shoulders scalp shield. Never not working. When you're looking for the latest information on Southern University sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU athletics, there's only one place to go. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show, exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. At CDW, we get speed as the new currency of success. Our team spends way too much time tending to outdated applications and software when they should be focused on driving application agility and innovation. CDW Amplify Development Services modernizes software and application development to help accelerate innovation and digital transformation. So you mean building new applications, UI, and mobile interfaces? Well, you said you needed to innovate more quickly. Oh, so he's a listener. To do more at scale, trust CDW Amplify Development Services. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time.
No. No. Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. The Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. Supermarket sushi, really? No. Wait, Troy, you work here? I'm never not working. Like head and shoulder scalp shield technology, up to 100% dandruff protection, even between washes. Never not working, huh? Oh, Troy, you're such a good teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> never not working. Never not working. Never ever not working. Gary Gray. Check it out. I need you to do something for me. Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for Urban Nerd Con. It's going to be lit. Okay. Our heroes, our villains, everyone's con. See y'all there. Visit theurbannerdcon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. 